with us. Hell yeah, guys. These are two of our favorites. It's going to be a bloodbath. Give it up for the amazing Adam Quazzo and Ruslan Hafid. <laughs> this one might take a while to get to the stage. Sorry we're late. We couldn't fit most of us through the aisle at the same time. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, knock it off. I'm in a very precarious situation right now. All right, have you decided who's going first? I'll go. Okay. Adam's going for seven joke seats, everybody. One, two, three, run! Uh, Ruslan is a rideshare driver. Uh, he drives for Uber XL and Lyft Big and Tall. <laughs> yeah, Adam looks like a Dr. Octopus who has eaten another Dr. Octopus who has eaten another Dr. Octopus. It goes on like this for about eight of them. <laughs> I'm right. Yeah. Hey, I need protein to take down Spider-Man. Uh, uh, I'm glad this heat wave broke, because otherwise the two of us would be fucking sweating. Like, first three rows is the splash zone. Uh, speaking of which, Ruslan raps under the name Lil Whale. Uh, his original rap name was Out of Action Bronson. <laughs> yeah, uh... Noah built the ship to save two of every animal. <laughs> and ship was called SS Quaslo. So Adam is actually the first ever man on earth who created all you can eat buffet. <laughs> yeah, it was mostly ribs. Uh, yeah, Rus thank you. Ruslan uh, is from Kyrgyzstan. A country famous for its felt, and for how half of you think I just said Kazakhstan wrong. Uh, Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden. Because we were fucking. Because she ate an apple. Yes, and because they were fucking. Actually, the real reason was uh, Adam, he was eating a pussy with a ketchup, with all apples, with all snake, you know, and including Eve. That's right, I licked it clean. <laughs> Look, y'all know there's nothing I don't eat. Fuck it. Uh, Ruslan moved to the US nine years ago after decades of terrorizing Tokyo. <laughs> Yeah, give it up for the stepfather of Godzilla. I'm the father who stepped up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, Adam was abducted by aliens, but they let him go because they realized it was not a cow. <laughs> they, they couldn't believe a cow had asthma. What really took him off is how much milk I produce. Uh, uh, I've known Ruslan for what, two years now? Uh, I'll never forget when I first saw him. Uh, he was in my grandmother's living room covered in plastic. Everybody remember 9-11. Adam was having his breakfast. The building fell down. <laughs> Adam was eating his lunch. The building fell down. Adam was, Adam was having his uh, dessert. The second building fell down. Yeah, actually, terrorists' original plan was to crush Adam into buildings using a catapult. But the catapult was busy because his father was using it for sex. Yeah, my dad fucked catapults. Huge dick. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, I love Mr. President. A second yogurt has hit my stomach. Uh, uh, Russo, doesn't Russo look like a villain in an action movie who has never landed a single fucking gunshot? <laughs> Yeah, if only Bruce Lee was here today, he would say, be formless, be shapeless. You put the water into a cup, it becomes a cup. You put the water in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. You put the water into Adam, and water starts complaining. That's right, it becomes Jewish. Uh, ooh, brother, ooh, what's that, brother? Uh, is... <laughs> Folks, we've had a lot of fun here tonight. Uh, uh, is this the last one? All right, Rusan collects oil paintings of clowns, which is the Kyrgyz term for used tampons. <laughs> All right, well, fuck me. All right. <laughs> Uh, everybody heard the recording where Puff Daddy allegedly was having sex with Mick Mill, right? <laughs> but that was not true. Actually, that was Adam pooping at his mansion. <laughs> and everything you heard on that tape was P. Diddy pushing him out because he got stuck in the toilet. I love how with Ruslan's accent, they all became different people. <laughs> I mean, it's still a fact, P. Diddy got you, you know? <laughs> but Mick Mill, Mick Mill escaped. <laughs> All right, give it up for that, everybody. Uh, wow. You, uh, you guys have no idea uh, what it smells like up here right now. <laughs> You have no clue. Chris wouldn't get on this stage without a harness. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That was fucking fun. Give it up for them. That was awesome. They came up here and did it. Thank you, Jimmy. Kevin, I want first thoughts from you, buddy. I'm just sorry. I'm looking at a picture of Ralphie May on the wall, and he looks disappointed by the people that are on stage. <laughs> Uh, that, that was really good. Uh, I, I enjoyed some of what Ruslan was saying when I can understand it. I also enjoyed how he slightly mispronounced people's names that are publicly known, like P. Diddy. Uh, <laughs> I was like, if P. Diddy wants to change his name and go off to a different country, seems like he's got a real career in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, but I'm going to go with Adam. I think Adam had the jabs. Uh, you had some long shots, but Adam had the jabs. Adam's jabs gets him one vote. I want a second uh, thought from Leah. Uh, yeah, I, um, well, I kind of think, well, first of all, it looks fun to bounce around between the two of you. <laughs> Not at all precarious. <laughs> you guys look like out of shape sumo wrestlers. Um, I'm gonna, well, I just want to thank Ruslan for making a joke about 9-11 that I'm going to be thinking of literally all fucking night. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> um... While it was endearing, I, I think Adam got you pretty solidly there. Okay. Adam with solid food gets him. With <laughs> That's two votes for Adam. Curtis. Ruslan. I never thought I'd meet someone named Ruslan who looks like a fucking Ruslan. <laughs> you both actually look like what an internet troll is in real life. So if you ever wonder, you're like scrolling through, you're like, I wish I could fucking see you have like an avatar picture. It's, it's y'all. So thanks for coming out in the light. Um, Adam, the Tokyo win, that, that was the one that took over top. That was, yeah, so. Adam wins it. Give it up for Adam. Come on, a little bit of fucking jush. Adam wins the battle, but I do want some final thoughts here. Peyton Ruddy, what did you think? Wow, well, I can't believe I'm making the air mattress joke again. Uh, two battles in a row. That was pretty good. Uh, I don't know. You both are pretty great. I could have used some subtitles, not for the, uh, the accent, but you guys were just breathing very loudly into the microphones. I couldn't hear what the fuck they were going on. And uh, Ruslan, you did great, man. You look like one of the Sopranos characters. It's, you look like James Gandalf Finland. All right, I tried. Um, he's fat. All right. Um, I would have gone with John Wayne Greasy, but... John Wayne Greasy? Yeah, well, this is why Ruslan gets my vote. Um, 
But anyway, I'm going to give it to Ruslan so he doesn't rape my family later. So, yeah, <laughs> give it to Ruslan. Ruslan gets a vote. Give it up for Ruslan coming up here. We love Ruslan. Hell yeah. Peyton's looking into his future right now if he doesn't start behaving. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Stephanie. Wow, this, I think this is the first time that two, the two roasters on stage couldn't see the front row. <laughs> uh, you guys get it? They can't see their feet. You guys get it? Okay, um, I, I don't know. I'm going to vote for Adam. Um because I, I think he knew what was going on up there more than Ruslan did. <laughs> or at least that's what it sounded like. I'm not really sure. But Adam, you get my vote. Adam gets the vote. He wins it. Give it up for him. We give it up for both of them. Oh, man. Wow. A sitcom waiting to happen. <laughs> 